Yeah, just whenever he loses, Crown seems like he always takes it the hardest because he thinks it's always his fault or something like. You know, that's the meme on the internet. We need to preserve Crown's smile at any cost. I need to preserve every player's smile at any cost. Like they need to enjoy what they're doing. And in bad times like this, who does he talk to? I'm fucking sad. <laughs> of course for Optic versus CLG to kick off week eight of the LCS as you can see for a player that has been very impressive despite the up and down nature of the team Crown has looked great since he's moved to the LCS well certainly exciting here as CLG and Optic will square off for our first match today we do yep Joker and I are gonna get spotted Cage goes down Ult's gonna miss though and now they're going to keep chasing TP in for Optic though, chasing under Dash Shot needs one more auto for the permafrost. Does find it, there's Crown with the laser as Meteos is able to grab the kill. Didn't exactly see, but Big Low getting chunked down. There's the Baron going in, no, it's kept by Meteos. Quickly tried to steal, but he could not grab it. Meteos is forfeit in the pit, but Optic rushed down the Baron and collected. 5v4, Arrow hits on a Biofrost, but it's the Drake that really matters here. Oh, the Dragon down, it does go to Wiggly. CLG able to get the buff, and now Flash in to try and finish off the fight. Darshan flashed into the backside. That'll Optic gets shredded, and Doka could not race the base or the Baron in time. That was pretty confident heading, heading into this week but sometimes you're confident and you have your own confidence and clg will finally put the finishing touches on optics nexus as they scrappily fight and take down optic i'm not gonna stay for long i think this one hurts it's a huge pain in the butt and i understand why we're not out of playoffs, so we need to keep the composure no matter how much we lose. And even if we lose and even if we are out of playoffs, it's a full year, so I'm as much as I hate this kind of situation, it's part of the it's part of the job, right? So besides the early game, you played really well. Let's be honest. This part of life, this part of competition. Tomorrow it's tonight. We still have our chance, right? You know it, all of you. This is the mindset you need to have. To give up now because you're disappointed? Book your flight. You're still good. All of you guys. You still have it. If you play like this tomorrow, and you have just a stable early game, you will be flying. 100 percent I'm just a little bit worse than fine. <laughs> I'm fine, still fine, but worse than very fine, you know? It's... No, I wouldn't say I'm stressed. I think I'm just trying to look, trying to achieve a bit more in practice now. Crown seems like he always takes it the hardest because he thinks it's always his fault or something. Like maybe he just like, thinks we expect too much about him for him to like hard carry us because he's a world champ, previous world champion. But I think now he's kind of lost confidence, I would say, in some picks. Minho had a hard time last year. Comes to NA, has hopes of winning as every Korean player coming to NA. How come? Because it's my job. Every sports star like that, maybe. Even though we're still in a race, I think that every player feels like we're, we're not going to make it because we went 0-2, which is not true, but I understand their feelings. They probably just think, yeah, we got to like, put in the extra work like even more so that we have a better chance. We really work, need to work. I don't know why am I, the feeling is middle, not high, not low. I'm just thinking, how did we lose? How did they? How can you solve this problem? Why it happened on stage, right? Sometimes it will happen. It could happen to you. And they think it can happen. In the moment after a loss, people are pretty down about it. But you know, we just thought that just got too old next week then. You guys need to start the buff. Like that's some internal shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, you guys I mean, lost it hard the first time. 
I don't think we lost it hard the first Wait, game. Wait, well, the first time. I mean, the, the, the first time. You're, fucking losers. No, no, no. The first time lose. your mid laner was able to come in first when Syndra should be able to. Josh is typing in all chat. I'm typing in all chat. I'm in the game. Because I was just making sure that we wanted to do this. I do think that I need to preserve every player's mind at any cost. Not pleasure, not compliance, smile. Like, they need to enjoy what they're doing. No music today? Mm, I don't have a speaker. Oh, what would you like? No. Request? What do you guys want? Oh. oh you didn't take your Oh. Arrow's on it. That's music. He brought his own. Oh, yeah. He's he prepared. Stop He's always prepared. Pray for Arrow, when are you going to get your hair braided? What is your hair braided? A braid. A braid? What is it? It's like that. Yeah. It's a short for me right now, man. How can I make it? Oh, you can definitely braid your hair. Yeah, where they're like, hood, see, and then they yeah. just start dancing. <laughs> it's called Hood Naruto versus Sasuke. Is this one? Yeah, I see that, I see that. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and the edit just Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like part three. It's like three parts now. Yeah, so this is the longest version. It's so freaking good because they get like everyone doing the dances. And they put like a track over them. Well choreographed. It's so good. Thank you. Um, we all can't talk that much today. He's sick. Happens, right? So blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Will. <coughs> Fuck you, Will. Fuck Will. Fuck you, Will. Going, going, you know. Selfish prick. Going party. Selfish just... prick. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're, 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 yeah. we're going to pick shit that we know, and we're going to go on stage, and we're going to play our game. And if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. But what I want to see is people literally dying trying to win. Okay? All of you. You die trying. So if we lose, I want everybody in the room coming to us how it was a good try. And if we win, I want everybody to, to party tonight, okay? It's a good try. Party tonight. Come party for us. One player's getting ready to go onto the rift as Optic Gaming need to keep pace to move on towards playoffs. They're currently tied with CLG at 6th and 7th. They must at least pick up a win at some point before the season is over. Summoner's Rift is ready and so are we. Let's get in the game. If you're just so sad about it or just thinking too much about it, you, the pressure will get to you and maybe you'll choke in game. Oh, and now it's up to the top side. Dokla here. I think he's dead. There's no way out of this one. Scarner spotted. Fear Tethers in well range. The flash wouldn't matter. Gets the E, gets the auto attack. First blood comes through top lane quick as you like. Yeah. I feel like they are focused. Enemy teams are always focusing Dokla. We need to improve about that scenario. Now in on crown. Lots of damage here. Waiting for the ult to come through. Gonna pop the stopwatch first instead. Ult actually already burned earlier on. It was cleansed right away. So this one kill picked up. And now it is pulling him back towards this turret. But not a lot of place to go. Two more on the board. I need focus more. Right and I want to relax before game. And then I lost that. Damage. Zazel puts on the top. Goes to the flash finds. Only the front line is open. It's the knockup. They're going to burn down big. But it will be a trade of kill. Both supports will drop. A couple ults used. Here comes the TP. But Dokla in the middle of the team. Crown on the side. Looks for Sneaky. He puts them away. On the Fit flank. Damage on Sven Skarin. That's going to knock down his Guardian Angel. But yes, look out for Licorice on the Akali. Big damage. Can't kill off Arrow just yet. Dokla rejoins the front line. Finds a stun. But they cannot kill Sven Skarin. Migos and Zazer number. Dokla low as well. Arrow finds some damage. One for zero. Oh, a trade back as well. Licorice finds his second. It is another team fight that Cloud9 wins long term three for one. My mental didn't change. I'm I'm still confident. I am still committed and I just want to win the last two games. One Dokla able to revive with the health for the Nexus. They just burn it down and Cloud9 gonna pick up that win. Very nicely done. Cloud9 finish it out. Pushing Arrow out of the fight is all they needed. No Nexus first there to buy time for Optic as they do get knocked down, but Optic certainly making Cloud9 work for it. And Cloud9 This week shows one thing, we have a wrong reading on the patch. Or at least not a perfect reading on the patch. Because we end, up, we end up with situations that we feel like softly comfortable with and we can do much better. When we're comfortable on the patch, we literally destroy everyone. So on the Galio ultimate, uh, on the ultimate on Galio, you had the mid, you had the midway. They give up the midway. They give you the midway like five times. You just push mid. You just push mid and you just jack them off. And they are all to back off. That's over. They can't do Baron. They have, they have to back off on mid. They can't stay forever in the pit. 
if they do that to just race, you just send someone? Is that it? I agree, right? It's, it's I'm, I'm, but I didn't think I'm not scared to blame. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I thought about it. I felt like they could just stay there and probably finish well, it. And then... Guys, yesterday we had a deadline, right? We missed it, happens, whatever. We move on. Today was the hardest match of the four we have, right? It's the hardest. So I'm not going to be like Mata Boom because we lost too much in a row, right? We go 0 2, it sucks, uh, run for playoff, sucks as fuck, it's going to be hard as fuck, it's not the odds in our favor, same as last year, and we'll do our best. Last year, we went, we won against the Thieves, and we, we missed the playoff, even no tie break. Whatever, we did our best, right? So we have two more games, we have still four days of stream, we're going to do it, we're going to be professional to the end, no matter what happens. And if we make it to playoff, we're going to work more. If we don't make it to playoff, we're going to work more anyway. And that's it. The discussion with Minho was just, he was feeling pretty down from the loss of C9, the fact that the, the playoffs are feeling like appearing very far from us now. My goal, the goal of this discussion is to show all the improvements he made, because you can't just be skewed only by the results. And Crown arrived, he had a very, very hard experience from, from the last year at Worlds, barely speaks English, arrive in a foreign country, doesn't know anyone, has to play with the academy for two weeks. There is a lot of time, there is another chance for this year, which will be the summer split if we don't make it. There is still two more chances to actually qualify this weekend. He cannot lose hope. He doesn't have the right, I don't give him the right. I give a lot of freedom to my player, but I told him, you have the right to be disappointed, you have the right to feel down, but you do not have the right to give up. You do not have the right to stop smiling because you're never going anywhere if you feel like League of Legends is a burden to you. He making me relax, like it's okay. And we are practice just two months now. If we don't make playoffs, it's okay. So much things we can make then, like, like that. Yeah, he just making relax. It's okay like that. <laughs> no, I don't know anything what's going on or what he talked about with uh, Zapper Crown. I'm just like joking around with him as always. Nothing is changing with me. And now he's smiling. And I want him to recognize all the improvement he made because he's, if he just looks at the outcome, it's not fair. I want to make sure that every, every single of the players are going okay. So I'm going to have a talk with Will. I already had a talk with Arrow, I had a talk with Ndokla. I think it's just important to make sure that uh, the team is heading into this week with the mental of like, even if we make like the same thing as last, last split, if we get the two wins and we are 8-10 and we don't make it for any kind of reason, we accept it, we failed, but we give, we give our best on the last, on the last, on the finishing line. And it's very important. I'm committed to 100%.